Hey everybody, I know you guys missed me. I didn't do a Surviving Together vlog yesterday, so today I thought, hey, it's freezing out. Let's go do a vlog. So here we are. I'm actually here for the dog. The dog needs a walk. I think you guys will survive without me, but the dog I'm pretty sure won't. From the time I get up in the morning until whenever I take him for a walk, he just stands at the window staring out at the bird feeder growling at the squirrels <laughs> and I can't seem to train him to knit or do something creative I don't know that's right that's a squirrel that's right, you go for the soft parts, maybe a, a rear leg. We have something here we call a bird feeder. And we're going to protect it from those guys. Good boy. Me and you are going to be good buddies. This is the enemy. Are you ready to destroy your enemy? You have trained long and ate, ate. Hey, no. <laughs> oh, you don't want to give that one back. Well, I got another one. Yeah, so it is actually freezing up here today. We had a beautiful day for metal detecting yesterday. I was out with just a t-shirt on. I actually got a sunburn on the back of my neck. But today it's like we've did, done a whole 180 here. I think there's new ice on the lake. I don't know. It's It doesn't feel like April. It feels like February. Good news on the Femi Palm front. I saw that Amazon shipped my package yesterday, which is like a whole four weeks earlier than they said they were going to. So that should be here maybe even tomorrow. If it is, we'll try it out. We'll do a vlog with the new Femi Palm. I ordered the palm and I haven't even got it yet and I'm already looking at accessories for it. Do you guys suffer from this? You know, you buy something new and while you're waiting for it to come in, you're just shopping for other stuff. You don't even have the original item that you've ordered. Yeah, I was looking at magnetic uh, filters, ND filters. And then I thought, well, hey, you need the attachment on the bottom for the microphone. And then I was like, well, hey, maybe a little case to put it in. Next thing you know, I'm like $300 in the cart. I didn't order any of it though. I was like, no, this is crazy. So I managed to stop myself. But do you guys suffer from that? I don't know. It's like new gear that you haven't even tried. But I can make it better if I buy this, this, and this. Try it first, Mr. Reed. Try it first. Had lots of nice comments on the trail cam video I put up the other day. Two of the best comments I got were, the movie is too short. So that really made me happy, guys. I'm glad that you guys wanted more. I've always got trail cameras out, so we will be doing more all the time. And there's lots on the channel already. Lots of really cool shots. Fishers, fox, deer, you name it. Whatever's here I've captured in the last five years is on the channel somewhere. And I have a, a series called Trail Cam Adventures. So check out that playlist if you do like the trail cam stuff. Are any of you guys putting off chores? I am. I've got a garage I need to clean. Every spring, that's the one job, there's always a job that you hate, right? And mine is cleaning the garage. We park our vehicles in there all winter, and the, the sand and salt we get up here in Northern Ontario gets tracked into the garage. Well, that kind of coats everything in the garage. Every shelf, skidoo, helmet, tool, everything I own gets that fine coating of salt and sand and dust. And literally, it's a three-day job to empty out the garage, take every item down, wipe it down, clean it off. Oh, it's tedious, and I hate it. So that's my job that I'm putting off. And when it's days like this, I kind of I feel guilty because this would be the perfect day to be working on the garage. It's I can't go metal detecting or take pictures. It's cold. It's not it's not sunny. It looks like rain. I could be cleaning the garage, but I'm not going to clean the garage. I've learned to live with my guilt. I just eat more and buy things. And anybody who tells you that's not a healthy choice for dealing with your guilt, 
I'm here to tell you they're wrong. That's free therapy from Gary right there. Maybe we'll start a whole new section. Free therapy from Gary, yeah. <laughs> There's a new idea. <laughs> what are you doing? The other problem I have in my life. <laughs> oh, here we go. I can't seem to get rid of anything. I own every piece of equipment that I've ever bought for cameras or electronics I just I even keep the boxes I'll show you guys on top I'm not even joking I have a nice walk-in closet and on my half is full of boxes my wife asked me well why do you need that and I tell her because someday when I sell that you'll get more for it if it's in pristine condition and it has the box and all the paperwork and the but then I never sell anything so I don't I've got boxes that I've had for 15 years in there <laughs> I just can't bear to part with something that, you know, back in the day when I was a college student, it would take me a year or two years of doing jobs to go buy that nice $1,500 lens. Sure, it's antiquated now and it doesn't perform as well as the new stuff, but I have an attachment to it. That thing saw me through so many jobs, I did so many adventures with whatever, you know, I just can't get rid of that stuff. Is that a sickness? Should I get rid of my stuff? I, d I don't know. And what they offer me for this stuff, you know, if you paid $1,500 for this, you go to trade it in, you get $150 for it. So uh, to me, my, the way I look at it, I think it's worth more to me than $150. So yeah, this guy's a bit of a collector at heart. I Books, DVDs. I own 600 DVDs on the shelves beside my TV that I don't even watch because it's just easier, Blu-rays and DVDs, it's easier to just turn on Netflix. Everything is there between Amazon, Hulu, Netflix, all these online streaming services, and we own them all. I don't even go get the DVDs off the shelf, but they're just pretty to look at. And you know you're a collector if you've ever bought more than one of the same item just because it had a different cover. Eh? You know you have. Book, a CD, yeah. The Greatest Hits had a different cover, so I own all those songs, but it doesn't matter. I, I bought it again anyway. Yeah, you're a collector. One of my favorite things to collect is old coins. Ever since I was a kid, I don't know why, but I've been enthralled with old coins. The history of it, I guess. And that's what got me into metal detecting was, I thought, hey, I can go out and purchase a metal detector and find all these coins and not have to spend money on a collection. I know, right? Spend a thousand bucks on a metal detector. Next thing I know, I own three metal detectors. <laughs> Don't feel bad about that. This is what you tell your spouse. You say, a gym membership costs $1,200 a year. Therefore, I am entitled to go out and buy one new metal detector every year because you're gonna be out getting exercise and fresh air every day. And it is, it's a lot of work metal detecting. Don't let this guy fool you, I make it look easy. It's a lot of work. Couple lonely geese heading over. They're gonna be shocked when they get out there to the lake and it's still covered in ice. So what do you guys collect? Is there something strange and wonderful and rare in your neck of the woods? Something that you just have to buy every time you see it? Do you have a collection of something that people come over and say, wow, why do you collect that? <laughs> <laughs> the one thing I did avoid collecting, thankfully, was sports cards. My brother had a huge hockey card collection when we were kids. He started in the early 90s, and I remember every day after school, he'd go to the card store and he'd spend his allowance and whatever money he'd made, and you know, he'd get a good deal on this card. And I'm pretty sure that those cards are worth the same thing that they were worth in the early 90s. They haven't gone up. And he had binders and boxes and He's probably got a whole room in his house if he still, I think he still has the collections. Maybe in a couple hundred years they might be worth something, I don't know. But I'm glad I never collected sports cards. So now I have to decide when I get home, do I clean that garage or do I go on eBay and work on one of my collections? I think I know what I'm gonna choose. So yeah, this guy has nothing against collecting, unless it's ears. Don't collect ears, people, that's, that's not sane. Oh great, now I just lost another two subscribers. <laughs> Stay tuned in the next few weeks, guys. There's gonna be lots of adventures coming up as it warms up here in the north. We're gonna be outside metal detecting a lot. We're gonna be doing photography, trail cam stuff, 
all the things you love the channel for, we're going to continue on into the season. And if I can think of anything else cool, I didn't mention Bigfoot, but yes, of course, we're going to do Bigfoot. We're going to do some traveling for Bigfoot. I think I've found my courage. We're going to maybe head up to Rabbit Lake this summer and camp out. I'm not going to do it alone, but I think I finally decided it needs to be done. We need to get the drone up. I want to show you guys the swamp there too. So stay tuned for that as well. You know, and on the Rabbit Lake front, uh, I'll give you guys a little bit of an update. I don't want to give too much information. It's rather personal, but Brian hasn't been doing well physically uh, in the last little bit. So he's uh, not really going up to camp right now. And uh, I, I haven't gone up either. So his son has actually taken over a lot of Brian's assets and stuff. And he's talking about selling the camp. And I've put my name in the ring. I told him, you know, if you are going to sell the camp, let me know. So that's the update for that. That's why I haven't gone back, guys. Uh, I'm sure Brian wouldn't care, and I would be more than welcome to go up there and camp out and that, but you know, you just don't do that out of respect, right? So we will get back up there. I'm working on it. It just might take some time. And lastly, I wanna thank all of you guys for the tremendous support and sticking together, especially on this new series. Uh, the numbers for the channel are going up every day. We're getting new subscribers and I appreciate it. And I'm, um, you know, it's keeping me sane, making you guys laugh. Who am I kidding? I make myself laugh half the time. <laughs> so I really appreciate it. I want to thank everybody for all the comments. I read every comment, guys. So post away. I try to reply to the ones I can. I get lots of emails and stories. Uh, I love it, guys. It's keeping me sane. So thanks. I appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow.